ग्लोबल वॉर्मिंग ग्लोबल वॉर्मिंग से इम्पैक्ट बैठले अपन जनरल इम्पैक्ट वी हाउ सीन यस तर काल अपन निगेटिव इम्पैक्ट बैठले होते पॉजिटिव इम्पैक्ट का बर लैंड अवेलेबल अवेलेबल होते सो रिमेम्बर सो वी हैव सीन द पॉजिटिव इम्पैक्ट नॉट सॉरी निगेटिव इम्पैक्ट ऑफ द ग्लोबल वॉर्मिंग इज एंड इट बट देर आर ऑल्सो पॉजिटिव इम्पैक्ट ऑफ द ग्लोबल वॉर्मिंग और वी कैन से द क्लाइमेट चेंज आता हम एग्रीकल्चर ऐसी रिनेटेड मनू कि विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू द वेजिटेशन सेटली बोल बट जनरली वॉट वी विल सी वी विल सी फर्स्ट द पॉजिटिव इम्पैक्ट ऑफ द ग्लोबल वॉर्मिंग और द क्लाइमेट चेंज सो वॉट इज हेपनिंग बेसिकली सो इफ यू सी विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू द ग्लो इफ यू गो इन दिस पोलर एरिया सो वॉट इज हेपनिंग बेसिकली so it is completely covered with the ice or the snow both the regions isn't it both the regions kashani cover hai tumche ice ki or snow na cover hai so when the ice is been melted what will happen the permafrost if it is melted uh, melted what will happen it will get exposed and when it is been exposed we will be having more land for cultivation more land for cultivation so that is one of the positive factor for the this thing impact of the global warming isn't it so more and more land we can use for what purpose for the cultivation for the in, uh, infrastructure purpose for developmental purpose for any other activity isn't it but at the same time what is happening so whatever the global warming if it is taking place what is happening basically in the arctic region so arctic circle if you see it is completely covered with the ice but because of the global warming this ice is been melted and when this ice is been melted what will happen it will be without any snow without any snow so if the snow snow if it is not present so can we say it will be completely converted into the water so you will be having their ice free routes so can we say you are getting one of the trade route trade route so say for example north sea trade route north sea trade route kya hona hai tumhala north sea cha trade route milna hai but when the temperature if it is increasing so can we say the cold severity of the coldness it will reduce barobar hai ata ap apnala bagala milte ki winter madhe european countries madhe basically kay asta ki khup jasta cold waves astat मग आपण म्हणू शकतो का ती सिव्हेरिटी याची आहे कोल्ड वेवची ती रिड्यूस होईल सो कॅन वी से बिकॉज ऑफ द कोल्ड वेव्ह व्हॉट एव्हर द कॅज्युअलिटीज वेअर टेकिंग प्लेस दॅट विल बी रिड्यूस्ड म्हणजे हा एक इम्पॅक्ट आहे आता ठीक आहे ह्याचा अजून एक नेगेटिव्ह इम्पॅक्ट असा होतो की हीट वेव्ह तुमचे ट्रॉपिकल रिजन मध्ये वाढत आहेत बट इफ यू गो इन द पोलार रिजन वॉट इज हॅपनिंग बेसिकली द टेम्परेचर देअर इफ इट इज इन्क्रीज द कोल्ड वेव्ह विल बी रिड्यूस्ड अँड बिकॉज ऑफ दॅट व्हॉट एव्हर द कॅज्युअलिटीज वेअर बीन हॅपनिंग प्रीवियसली कशामुळं कोल्ड वेव्ह मुळे सिव्हेरिटी कमी झाली सो कॅन वी से युअर कॅज्युअलिटीज आर बीन रिड्यूस्ड इट इज वन ऑफ द इम्पॅक्ट अगेन येस अग्रिकल्चर वरती याचा अजून काय होतो चांगला परिणाम होतो सो इन द अग्रिकल्चर फील्ड यू आर गेटिंग द गुड वी कॅन से इफेक्ट ऑल्सो बट विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू दिस यू आर गेटिंग द मेल्टिंग ऑफ द आईस इन द आर्टिक सर्कल हेल्प इन द नॉर्थ सी रूट डेव्हलपमेंट ऑफ द नॉर्थ सी रूट as well as titla jer kai arctic circle jer kai melt jala can we say we will get access to the resources so whatever the resources might be there it might be the mineral resource it might be the energy resource like the fossil fuels natural gas everything will be getting the access to the arctic circle region kyuwa jitha tumcha barf hota ata to barf nahi hai manje kai zameen ugdi padli but that area we can mine for this different purposes getting the this so those are the positive things with respect to the general factors now we will see the impact of the impact of climate change or we can say global 
warming on agriculture so what is happening with respect to the climate change kay hote climate change mode nemka kay hote theek hai temperature vadte kasha mo vadte basically greenhouse gases so in the greenhouse gases can we say the co2 concentration it is increasing yes but now can we say co2 is been used for the photosynthesis so when you have more and more carbon dioxide in the atmosphere can we say it will be absorbed more by the plants for the process of the photosynthesis so can we say you are getting the more and more carbon dioxide for your growing for your growth so the growth increases of the vegetation so this basically increase in the carbon dioxide in the atmosphere which is been absorbed by the plants it is called as the carbon fertilization is what carbon fertilization so basically you are getting more and more carbon or the carbon dioxide why it is required in the soil if it is present it will enhance the soil fertility if it is present in the atmosphere it will help you to get more and more carbon dioxide for what purpose for the photosynthesis and because of that your vegetative growth will be increased through the process of the photosynthesis getting so if the co2 is been increased the growth period it will be enhanced the growth of the plants will be enhanced because of the increasing input for the process of the photosynthesis so it is the first thing secondly so it is the positive impact na first one is the positive impact yes so can we say now as the temperature is rising so if you go in the european countries the temperature is always moderate yes or if you go in the higher altitude the temperature is always less or we can say moderate but if the temperature there if it is increases so can we say the tropical crops which were been grown in this region in the peninsular part of india they can be grown in the higher altitude or in the higher latitude we can say or in the european countries so the tropical crops can be taken in the which area in the european countries why basically because their temperature has been increased now basically if you see here is the european countries yes these are the tropical areas now the temperature here say say for example is the 25 degrees celsius it is the average temperature and for example if you have 20 degrees celsius of the temperature in this region but now can you grow the tropical crops in the european countries no you can't grow why because the temperature is low here so in the mediterranean sea you can grow the grapes only isn't it or the we can say the wheat will be grown but not the tropical crops but suppose because of the increase in the temperature what will happen the temperature here in the mediterranean region it will get increased or the european countries it will get increased and because of that we can grow the tropical crops in this area so can we say you are growing the more number of crops in the higher latitudes isn't it so is it a positive factor yes it is a positive factor so can we say new varieties will be developed in this region yes the area for the tropical crops it will get increased now suppose the temperature if it is increasing here the seasons also will be increased so when there, there is a snowfall can you go for the cultivation of crops ha after increase of the temperature or the global warming you will get throughout the year ice free area snowfall or the snow free area you will be getting and if you are getting the ice free or the snow for snow free area completely then you can grow multiple crops इन अयर बरोबर आहे कशा मुळे होते कारण का टेंपरेचर वाढले टेंपरेचर जर वाढला असेल तर काय होणार आहे की तुम्हाला तो एरिया मध्ये बर्फ एकतर कमी पडेल किंवा पडणारच नाही त्याच्यामुळे फ्रॉस्ट फ्री एरिया मिळेल किंवा आइस फ्री एरिया मिळेल किंवा स्नो फ्री एरिया मिळेल अँड सो दैट एरिया कॅन बी यूज्ड फॉर कल्टीवेशन ऑफ द क्रॉप्स इजंट इट सो कॅन वी से दैट यस म्हणजे मल्टीपल क्रॉप्स एकाच वर्षी घेऊ शकता तुम्ही इजंट इट सो यू कॅन टेक द मल्टीपल क्रॉप्स इन वन इयर ओनली so more area you are getting so more area you are getting new varieties of the crops you can grow in the higher latitudes isn't it also in the higher altitude as well not only in the latitudes but also in the higher 
altitudes. So basically, you are getting the extended, we can say extended growing season, second is the extended growing season because why? You will get more and more number of months to grow the crops, second, third, new crops can be grown, new varieties of crops, crops can be grown. more area for cultivation more area for cultivation you are getting and of course can we say if the temperature is more why you go for the uh, poly houses or the greenhouse uh, greenhouses kasa sathi apan construct karto greenhouse kiwa poly house temperature vadav nasathi isn't it now suppose if the automatically the temperature is more, can we say the energy required to maintain the temperature in the poly house or the greenhouse, it will be reduced. So the energy required will be reduced. Is reduced. So what are these? These are the, we can say, positive impacts. of climate change or global warming. Got? Samozla? That Manu me kal dumala mutlo ta ki jau dumi impacts liye dasta. You have to write both positive as well as negative. Global warming sa impact agriculture or ti jau man to apan. Apan kai man nar negative ones. But are there positive things? Yes. We are getting the positive things. First. Got? Done? लून घेतले पॉझिटिव्ह गोष्टी काय काय गोष्टी मी सांगितले होते हे लून घ्या ऑनलाईन स्टुडंट्स प्लीज राईट इन राईट दिस डाउट एनर्जी रिक्वायर्ड फॉर पॉली हाऊस यू कॅन से अगोदर आपण राईस फक्त ट्रॉपिकल एरिया मध्ये ग्रो करू शकत होतो बट बिकॉज ऑफ द ग्लोबल वॉर्मिंग इट कॅन बी टेकन इन द हायर लॅटिट्यूड ऑल्सो नाव ठीक आहे झालं का ऑनलाईन चलो सो नाउ नेगेटिव इम्पॅक्ट पहिल्यांदा ऐका काय होतं नेमकं नंतर लिहा आय विल डिक्टेट इट ठीक आहे नाव बेसिकली वॉट इज हॅपनिंग ऍज द टेम्परेचर इज इन्क्रीजिंग वेन द टेम्परेचर राईजेस कॅन वी से द मॅच्युरिटी ऑफ द क्रॉप्स विल बी अर्लियर मॅच्युरिटी लवकर होईल का ग्रोथ पिरियड हा तुमचा वाढेल कारण का टेम्परेचर वाढले टेम्परेचर जेव्हा वाढतं रेस्पिरेशन वाढतं टेम्परेचर जेव्हा जास्त असतं तेव्हा रेस्पिरेशन वाढतं का आपलं येस सो सेम कॅन वी से विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू द क्रॉप्स येस वी कॅन से सेम विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू द क्रॉप्स बट वेन द टेम्परेचर इज हाय अलॉंग विथ दॅट रेस्पिरेशन इज मोर मेटाबॉलिक ऍक्टिव्हिटी इज मोर सो बिकॉज ऑफ दॅट वॉट हॅपन्स द मॅच्युरिटी ऑफ द क्रॉप इज मोर मॅच्युरिटी इज अर्ली सो वेन द मॅच्युरिटी इज अर्ली can we say we have to harvest the crop earlier but now here is the problem and the problem kya hota suppose for a crop to mature if it requires 110 days or we will take it round figure as a 100 days basically for example rice or the wheat okay but now suppose because of the temperature increase your crop is been matured within 90 days now 90 days that means you have to harvest the crop within 90 days but i just see here there is a difference of 10 days there is a difference of 10 days now if you have the 10 days less for your growth and development can we say the biomass which was to be produced within 10 days that has not been produced now 
म्हणजे काय झालं ग्रोथ पिरियडला तुम्हाला दहा दिवस अगोदर मिळत होते पण आता क्लायमेट चेंज झाल्यामुळं किंवा ग्लोबल वॉर्मिंग वाढल्यामुळं मॅच्युरिटी लवकर येते आणि ह्याच्यामुळं काय होत आहे दहा दिवस जे तुम्हाला एक्स्ट्रा मिळत होते ते आता कमी होत आहेत मग त्या दहा दिवसामध्ये जेवढं तुमचं बायोमास डेव्हलप व्हायला पाहिजे होतं ते होत आहे का आता नाही सो कॅन वी से बिकॉज ऑफ दिस देअर इज द रिडक्शन इन द इल्ड रिडक्शन इन द इल्ड येस सो बेसिकली इफ यू सी विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू द इंडिया युअर क्रॉप लाईक राईस मेज और इट मे बी द वीट देअर मॅच्युरिटी इफ इट इज बिकमिंग अर्ली देअर विल बी द इल्ड लॉस इट मे रेंज फ्रॉम टू पर्सेंटेज टू ट्वेंटी पर्सेंट ऑर मोर दॅन ट्वेंटी पर्सेंट ऍज वेल म्हणजे तुमचा राईस क्रॉप लवकर मॅच्युअर झाला लवकर हार्वेस्ट करायला लागलं पण त्याच्यामधून जे काही बायोमास मिळणार होतं दॅट इज बिन रिड्यूस्ड सो द इल्ड इज बिकमिंग लेस अँड लेस अँड दॅट विल बी अल्टिमेटली अफेक्टिंग द फूड सिक्युरिटी ऑफ द कंट्री फर्स्ट थिंग सेकंडली कॅन वी से द इन्कम ऑफ द पीपल ऑर द फार्मर्स विल बी रिड्यूस्ड इन्कम विल बी रिड्यूस्ड सो दॅट इज द फर्स्ट इम्पॅक्ट ऑफ द ग्लोबल वॉर्मिंग ऑर द क्लायमेट चेंज ऑन द रिडक्शन इन द इल्ड हाऊ द इल्ड इज बीन रिड्यूस्ड वॉट इज फर्स्ट वन येस नाव सेकंडली एस्टेडी वी वी हॅव सीन दॅट बिकॉज ऑफ द क्लायमेट चेंज ऑर द ग्लोबल वॉर्मिंग सो जस्ट आय राईट हिअर रिड्यूस इन द इल्ड रेनफॉल पॅटर्न इज बीन शिफ्टिंग रेनफॉल पॅटर्न वॉट आय एम टॉकिंग अबाउट पॅटर्न मध्ये शिफ्ट होतो म्हणजे काय रेनफॉल पॅटर्न इफ इट इज शिफ्टिंग दॅट मीन्स समटाइम्स यू मे रिसिव्ह रेनफॉल अर्लियर ऑर देअर कॅन बी द डिले इन द रेनफॉल आता प्रत्येक वर्षी आपण बघतोय की रेनफॉल हा डिले होत चालला आहे इंडियामध्ये बेसिकली एस्पेशली विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू द महाराष्ट्र महाराष्ट्रामध्ये जर काही रेनफॉल उशिरा येतोय सो कॅन वी से दॅट विल हॅम्पर युअर सोईंग टाईम लवकर होईल की लेट होईल सोईंग तुमचा लेट होणार आहे वाय बिकॉज युअर रेनफॉल यू वॉट युअर इज सेव्हिंग इट इज बिन डिलेड सो मान्सून इज बिन डिलेड बिकॉज ऑफ द ग्लोबल वॉर्मिंग ऑर द क्लायमेट चेंज अँड बिकॉज ऑफ दिस व्हॉट एव्हर द क्रॉप यू आर सोईंग दॅट विल बी डिलेड अँड बिकॉज ऑफ द डिले इन द क्रॉप ऑर द सोईंग ऑफ द क्रॉप वॉट विल हॅपन इट विल हॅम्पर द इल्ड ऑफ द क्रॉप बेसिकली कधी कधी काय होतो की पाऊस कधी पण पडतोय आता सो इफ यू सी लास्ट इयर वी वेअर लास्ट टू लास्ट इयर वी वेअर रिसिव्हिंग द रेनफॉल इव्हन इन ऑक्टोबर नोव्हेंबर and because of that can we say there was losses of the crop it hampered the rabi crops or the rainfall during the harvesting of the crops which crops basically kharif crop that will have the reduction in the crops or the crop yield basically tar ek ashama hota rainfall pattern cha change zala mo now similarly what is happening because of the global warming the floods are increasing फ्लड्स वाढत आहेत काल आपण बघितलं की काही काही ठिकाणी फ्लड्स येत आहेत काही काही ठिकाणी फ्लड्स येत आहेत दुबई सारख्या शहरामध्ये आता फ्लड्स येत आहेत बट बेसिकली इट इज नॉट ओनली विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू दुबई बट ऑल्सो इन मेनी पार्ट ऑफ इंडिया द फ्लड्स आर बीन इन्क्रीजिंग टेक द एक्झाम्पल ऑफ आसाम प्रत्येक वर्षी आसाम मध्ये फ्लड्स येत आहेत टेक द एक्झाम्पल ऑफ बिहार टेक द एक्झाम्पल ऑफ गुजरात इव्हन इन महाराष्ट्र यू आर फेसिंग द फ्लड्स इच इयर दॅट इज द रिझन फॉर द ग्लोबल वॉर्मिंग ऑर द क्लायमेट चेंज दॅट इज द इम्पॅक्ट बेसिकली we can say and when there there is the flood can we say your crop loss will be there crop loss will be there with the same time you are experiencing droughts also drought conditions in india kabara al nino yeto tumcha so the frequency of the al nino if it is increasing the droughts they will be increased so when the droughts are been increased can we say the moisture available in the atmosphere in the soil in your water bodies that is been reduced so the water available for the growth of the plants that will be reduced the available water for the livestock that is insufficient the water required for the aquaculture that is been reduced so can we say your yield with respect to the crop that is hampered so the wilting of the crops will take place animals animals you are not getting the fodder you are not getting the water for them so the yield of the animals will be reduced if the fish for the aquaculture if you are not getting the water can we say the fish production will be hampered yes so that is hampering your complete yield is been lost so it is because of the drought conditions but now because of the increase in the temperature what is happening basically the atmospheric uh, 
we can say water vapor it is increasing so atmospheric water vapor if it is increasing so just i will write here water vapor if it is increasing so can we say that will lead to the development of pest and disease pest and disease when the water vapor if it is more that is favorable climatic conditions for the growth of the pest and diseases so because of that what will happen again the yield will be reduced more pest and disease in, uh, infestation more losses of the crop more use of the chemical fertilizers and at the same time the input cost will be increased and the income of the farmers they, at, that will be reduced we have seen the example last year of the fly army worm yes on the maize crop isn't it in the north we can say north western states of india especially in, in the rajasthan so after this pest and disease if it is increased uh, next can we say there is a scarcity of water for the irrigation why basically because of the global warming the ice and the glaciers they are melting if they are melting can we say the required or available amount of water in the summer in the rivers that is been reduced and if the amount of water if it is been reduced in the rivers during summer season that is hampering your irrigation that is hampering the availability of the water in the dams and because of that we can say there is the problem or we can say there will be an problem for what purpose tumcha irrigation sathi pani kami padnar hai especially in the himalayan region or we can say the northern states of india plain regions of india indo gangetic plains madhe paniyachi kamtarta bhasnar hai tumhala barobar hai so it is the available water it has been reduced so there, there is a scarcity of water not only this because of the drought conditions less rainfall what is happening no groundwater recharge groundwater recharge is been reduced so underground water shortage is there again je ka tumhi bore cha pani vaparta kiwa viritla pani vaparta te sudha kami honar hai ka groundwater recharge hot nahi hai ka pauses kami padto hai thacha mo groundwater recharge honar nahi hai so you cannot utilize that for the irrigation purpose isn't it so next can we say as the sea level is rising because of the global warming or the climate change it will lead to the inundation or we can say floods in the coastal areas so we have seen in the coastal areas what will happen floods will take place or this area it will be submerged under water and because of that can we say your coastal land fertile lands basically that will be submerged under water so we are losing your basically land for agriculture that means there will be less production in the country getting this point so if there is a less production in the country obviously income as well as the food security will be hampered now again what is happening as the ground water is depleting in the coastal areas when the ground water is been depleting suppose it's the coastal area so your ground water level whatever it is it has fallen down to this level why because of the less recharge of the ground water if the water level has been fallen can we say whatever the coastal water is there it will start to encroach or it will start to get encroached into this inland water underground water madhe to jaun mix hoil ka yes but is this water safe for irrigation purpose no because it is the saline water basically if the saline water if it is entering the underground water so can we say this water will get polluted and if this water is been polluted can we say this cannot be used for irrigation purpose underground water pollution is happening isn't it now especially what is happening when the temperature of the ocean water if it is increasing what will happen basically okay fine but the temperature if it is increasing can we say 
the oxygen level in the water will drop down if the oxygen level if it is dropped down can we say there will be less growth of uh, phytoplanktons if phytoplanktons are less zooplanktons are less the fish production will be hampered so the fish production is been hampered because of the global warming here again isn't it now one positive thing can happen that if the temperature if it is increasing of the sea oceans in the higher lat latitude basically the fish production will increase there but the fish production it is reducing where in the tropical region fish production will be hampered in the tropical region because of this yes getting the point yes so one more problem will be that because of the global warming and the climate change your pollinators especially the honeybees their population is reducing yeah temperature what they they are not able to adapt the climatic conditions or the change in the climatic conditions or increase in the temperature if the honeybees or the pollinators are been affected their population if it has been reduced can we say pollination has been completely affected and because of this what will happen reduction in the yield again reduction in the yield getting now can we say because of this again there will be the soil degradation and desertification soil degradation as well as desertification kasa bara yes so when you are having the excess floods because of the floods or the excess rainfall what will happen there will be the soil erosion so we can say there will be the soil erosion yes and when there is a soil erosion the topmost layer it will be lost so the nutrients will be lost so agriculture activities will be hampered why your soil is been degraded now again what will happen because of the drought conditions if there is less moisture in the soil can we say there can be the chance of desertification desertification will be more why because lack of the moisture availability no moisture less moisture no moisture or we can say because of the droughts desertification can be there getting the points understood this what are the negative impacts samajh le ki parat sangaichi garaj hai